Do you know if Brian is still alive, Gabby? On October the 21st, 2021, a comparison of dental records confirmed that the human remains found at the T. Mabry Carlton Jr. Memorial Reserve and the Myakahatchee Creek Environmental Park are those of Brian Laundrie. Are you now in the dark, Brian? Hello everyone, welcome back. Much love to you all. Today I try to reach the soul of Brian Laundry. In this video, I will share that session where I attempted to reach the soul of Brian and ask him questions. I asked him where his soul was. Did he have regret for what he's done? And so on. I will also share uh, my last recording where I attempted to reach the soul of Gabby just about three days ago now. And I asked her if she was breaking up with Brian. I also asked Brian that question and get an answer. Uh, that's very relevant to that question. I will also share some clips from my previous three videos with Gabby. Now, this is very important. Gabby Petito, in the sessions that I've done for her, she validated before it was made public how she died, and she also said Brian was dead two weeks, almost two weeks, about 10 days, I think, before his body was found. She also had messages for her family and so on, but she was correct in both of those situations. And that's huge for the field of ITC, which is what I'm doing, instrumental trans communication. I just say spirit communication, spirit connection. It's easier to say and for people to understand. We can connect with souls. I've been doing this for over a decade. I've dealt with evil spirits and dark souls and I've dealt with light souls. For the last four to five years, I've been dealing with light souls. Now, Brian Laundry's soul, I assumed from the get-go and felt would be in the dark. Um, I've done videos on this topic about what happens to our soul when we die, according to what the spirits have said. These are not my opinions. These are what spirits have said over the years to me. I'll link to some very important videos in the description below if you want to check those out. But for now, let's get started with the session for Brian Laundry. Laundry, do you have any messages? Is there anything you'd like to say? Do you have regret for what you've done? Um, um, I... Brian Laundry, the soul of Brian Laundry. Are you now in the dark, Brian? So that was very eerie. Uh, when I asked if his soul was in the dark, the reply was he will cling to the fire. Now, what does that tell you right there? Again, that's more evidence that adds up of what spirit has told me over the years. If we're bad people, if we're bad humans on this earth, if we hurt others intentionally, our soul will be in the dark. It will not go into the light. It will not even, the light will not even present itself. Brian Laundry, the soul of Brian Laundry. This is Steve Huff. I've spoken with Gabby's spirit. She gave many messages. She's the one who told us you were gone before you were found. Do you know if Brian is still alive, Gabby? <laughs> How did he hurt you, Gabby? I couldn't breathe. I've 
Dr. Brent Liu, uh, Teton County, Wyoming coroner. In the manner of death of Gabrielle Lenora Petito, we find the cause and manner to be caused death by strangulation and manner uh, is homicide. How did he hurt you, Gabby? I couldn't breathe. Brian Laundry, can we connect to the soul of Brian Laundry today? Brian, you were identified. Sad. Daddy sad. Your body was found and identified. Your girlfriend, Gabby, told us you were gone, you were dead almost two weeks ago. We're going to try for one final recording for Gabby Petito. Gabby? Are you still with me? Just, Just now. Did you break up with him in the van? Did you break up with Brian? Is that why he hurt you? Is that why Brian hurt you? Gabby, do you have any other messages? Gabby Petito, I welcome you in if you have anything to say to your family or about Brian. I welcome you in. You're welcome. So, you've been gone for a couple of weeks at least. Do you regret hurting Gabby? Did Gabby break up with you? And you snapped? What happened? So here I'm going to ask for my guide Ace. I've done a few sessions recently with Ace um, and he comes through amazingly almost every time I try to connect with him. And every time I do a session with my guide, it gives me the chills in a good way because of the direct answers that are so deep and give me information. So here is a little clip with my guide Ace. Ace, this is Steve. No. Welcome that light in with love. I feel your energy. I feel it. You're all around me. Do you have a message for me today, Ace? Steve. I'm Steve. Do you 
have anything else to say? If you did not see the three videos I posted over the last month or so or, or longer, I don't even know the way time flies, you can see them on this channel. I'll link to them in the description below. They're all well worth watching. They're all validating. They're all special. They're all miraculous. Gabby Petito, I come with love and light. We've been talking. We've done a few sessions and recordings. You've come in and left some details. I thank you for that. Your soul is a strong, brave, light-filled soul. And you will, you know, the person who took your life, they will live in darkness for a long, long time. Who killed you, Gabby? Can you tell me? <laughs> What's your message for your family? Gabby, thank you. She just say, I love mom. Did he leave you alone? Coming in, I hear you. Gabby, would you still like to speak today? Your father, do you have a message for your father, Gabby? What would you like to say to your father, Gabby? Do you have a message for your father, Gabby Petito? I can hear you. Those watching can hear you. Feel free to speak. Gabby, your parents love you so much. You're tore up over this, as any parent would be. I don't usually get this emotional. I feel my guide Ava here too. Gabby? Maybe you can validate this as others have. When you talk through this, is God with you or allowing this or helping this to happen? With angels? What's your message for your family? Gabby, thank you. say I love mom. So if you enjoyed this video, my friends, thumbs up and subscribe. I release content on a regular basis. Um, I do feel my sessions will be getting deeper and more in depth. I've been doing some recordings I haven't released publicly uh, for various reasons. I've been trying new techniques, um, which have been doing amazing, um, like think. I've been recording things that I've never been able to record before. Um, so into the new year in 2022, you will be seeing some of these changes and improvements. And uh, it's all miraculous. It's all amazing. It's all real, as I've been saying for almost 12 years now. And to those who still don't believe it's real, I understand where you're coming from because 
If I were you, I would say there's no way this is real. But keep in mind, I've been here a long time. I've posted thousands of videos. I've connected for hundreds of people bringing forth messages from their loved ones that I would have no way of knowing. I've been on TV. I've been on nationwide radio. I've worked with others in the field. I've done this live. I've done this on podcasts. My work has been proven and it's even been proven scientifically. So that's about all I can tell you. If, if you don't want to believe it for whatever reason, that's fine. I don't hold that against you, but I love you all. Even of those of you who don't believe that's okay because believing in this kind of thing usually takes an experience from within. Um, and once you have that experience, there's no turning back. So I love you. I thank you. And I will see you guys next time.